Hey everybody, this is Corey from My Two Cents, and today we got some Sennheiser Momentum 2.0. This will be a quick unboxing and overview of these bad boys. So yeah, this happened. Um, I was looking for a nice pair of headphones, um, something Bluetooth, something wireless. Uh, I wanted to get another pair to compete with my Zik that I have, uh, my parrots, and uh, so I got these. Um, they're a little bit on the expensive side. About $492 is what they cost me, so I'm really hoping that they're worth it. Uh, so, looking at the box, let's go ahead and cut these uh, tape layers off here real quick and get this thing going. And now, the one thing that kind of drew me toward these a little bit is build quality. Uh, they look like they're going to last for a long time, and also they fold up, so uh, easy storage. And I like the looks of the stainless and the black leather. So, uh, let's pop this box open, and I'm going to save you the struggle of me trying to open this box and it is real the struggle is real with this thing um, oh hey look at that there's a tab at the top you have to put out Oh, interesting uh, that's note to self next time you get a pair of headphones check for that now ah, we can get this thing open oh quality carrying case that's something that my parents didn't come with so uh, kinda cool nice leather case oh we have to get this the instruction manual we should probably read everything about that uh, probably not so nice little phone box, no problems in shipping, everything's packaged really nice. Uh, so in this will tell you how to use your headphones. Um, there's a couple things about it uh, that you can get out of that actually is how to click it and move it forward and songs and all that stuff. So uh, it actually comes with a carrying bag inside of the uh, leather pouch as well. It looks like we have our cables here and some silica gel. Well, we do have uh, an airplane plug in for the cables as well so good solid leather construction same stitching as the headphones themselves uh, which is quite nice so that is a quality case uh, we have our audio cable here you can see it's got a nice 90 degree cable and then the top up here is a smaller now this is a proprietary cable to the headphones uh, as it is a twist and lock uh, that way it won't pop out when you pull on it um, if it gets caught on anything so that's kind of nice we have our USB cable here as well, and then our jack for uh, an airplane mode. Let's open this up. Uh, it doesn't look like it's braided actually, so let's just toss it aside. Let's take a look inside of the bag here and see what we've got going on. I'm kind of excited about these things. Ooh, uh, These are nice. I can tell you already, the build quality on these is fantastic. I would say probably a step above uh, the parrots that I have. Pull this tape junk off. Get our little earmuffs out of there. You gotta love the interior matting matching the stitching as well, which is quite nice. So a really good attention to detail on these. So good folding mechanism on them. They do get nice and slim. Not as flat as the the Zix do. So on the side here you can see that to adjust the ear cup basically it's just a pull up and down. So no clicking so you can get that exact fit that you're looking for which is quite nice. Now the ear cups themselves are a little bit smaller uh, than the Parrot Zix as well. I'm comparing that to the, the Parrot Zix because that's the one that I have that's most like these but the actual cushioning feels a little bit better. Not a lot, just a little bit better. Uh, so get a nice good cup in there these are a little bit smaller so my ear I have really big ears my ear doesn't quite fit and it can be slightly uncomfortable if you don't get exactly pushed in you gotta kinda cup the ear around the back of the actual cup itself so onto the controls and we have our power button that does flash between red and blue depending upon what you're doing I I'm just not a fan of these controls I mean I get the fact that they're intuitive the volume up and down you press inwards it's like an actual button and depending upon how you press it you can retrieve a phone call call somebody back play a track rewind but I honestly could not get it to function 100% all the time and plus if you're wearing a collared shirt this rubs against the collar and you can put your volume up or down and that's really annoying when you're trying to just listen to a song uh, so we have our charge port here as well we had the headphone jack built-in mics for uh, phone calls which is great I mean, never had a problem with anybody hearing me uh, which is fantastic they also serve the purpose of directional noise cancellation or amplifying who's speaking to you when the headphones are off, so you have to pull them off all the time. Now, when it comes to build quality or I'd say style, I think these things look great. They are heads and tails above, I think, what else is out there. 
kind of get that retro look, which I like on these headphones. When it comes to audio quality, and I'm not, a, I'm not an audiophile, but I like music and I like it to sound good. This is by far the crispest headphones I've ever had that come to Bluetooth. But they just don't get as loud as I want them to. I want them to get two clicks on volume louder. I just sometimes want to zone out and I want to listen to my music really loud. And I just can't do that with these headphones. The Parrot 6 do get a little bit louder. Although it gets slightly distorted, which I understand happens. But sometimes you just got to drown out the surroundings. So the stitching on this thing is fantastic. I'd say these things are going to last forever. Now when it comes down to it, I guess it comes... Can I recommend these to somebody who's looking for a new pair of headphones? And I definitely can say yes. I mean, they are expensive, but they are pretty much worth it. I mean, if you are looking for the best audio experience you can get over Bluetooth, then I would say that these are it. I mean, they're built. Look at the hinge on this thing. This is just not something you would see on something that's just inexpensive. So pure audio. You want the best quality sound you can get your hands on, then these are headphones for you. If you're looking for the most technologically advanced, or you're looking for something to be a little bit more economical, then definitely not. I would say maybe pass these up and look for something a little bit different. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch the next one. Peace.